There are several famous pregame speeches from great coaches. But one of my personal favorites is from Herb Brooks, head coach of the 1980 USA hockey team that won the Miracle on Ice. Prior to one of the team's biggest games, Brooks said, you were born to be a player. You were meant to be here at this moment. You were meant to be here at this game. What does that mean for all of you? Regardless of how you arrived here today, you are here. Everyone is zero and zero. Look across at your teammate and ask them, what are you willing to do to lay it on the line? I ran into one of my athletes this past weekend, who is now a head coach at McKendree University, and he passed by and he leaned in and said, burn the ships. Thanks for everything, coach. Burn the Ships was born from an idea that originated in 1519 from Spanish conqueror Hernan Cortez. He led an expedition that caused the fall of the great Aztec Empire and brought large portions of what is now mainland Mexico under a new ruling in the early 16th century. As legend has it, Cortez had his men burn their ships. People are looking around at one another confused. Burn our ships, sir? We won't have a way to retreat if they beat us. Burn the ships, he said. It's time to create our destiny. They lit torches and proceeded to burn the ships with loud chants, burn the ships, leaving no option but to press on and battle. Their safety net had been removed. Well, you're here now. It's time to find out what we're all made of. It's time for history to write itself. Have you visualized what it'll say? And it's Win or lose, will you give it everything you got? I ask you now, have you burned your ship? <laughs>